so there was one boat which was traveling on bay of bengal it was started from uh, uh, france spice business between india and france so the command the com- uh, the captain his name was beetle who was taking care of the uh, ship that was a huge voyage ship there were many people there were many technically uh, so many resources were there gold diamonds and many resources were all there suddenly he saw one huge future a big akara which is coming towards their ship side it was little far of distance but the size was so huge it can easily swallow away their entire boat timingla you heard no we heard timingla timingla eat whales whales is the biggest animal what we can see and timingla eat whales means you can understand what is their size so this uh, this uh, animal what they saw was like a timingla this entire big boat will become to into, into its gulp in one gulp one morsel it can become so immediately he started calling the captain and he started updating him see that huge figure something is approaching us in very fast play ha huh? we we have no other option then uh, the captain also saw through the telescope and he was also worried what is this huge structure never i have heard many times last 20 years we have been traveling never i have come across such a huge animal then uh, other side uh, uh, there was from the uh, top there will be one uh, uh, driving and steering person so he started calling sir sir please come there is a heavy devastating storm coming in the opposite direction one side is well other side is a storm of severe category with the, that you know the storm in the ocean how it can devastate a ship then they saw it is also approaching very fast approaching other side there was heavy dark clouds heavy wind was there the bob the boat was tossing and waving all these things and all then uh, the uh, captain thought let us ring the bells let us ring the alarm he wanted to li- release the life boats but they thought the shore is so far whether they will be able to reach or not we don't know because of the storm this life boat will survive or not so while roaming here and there then they they saw some woman came to him and she said see you may please at least may protect me or may not protect me my one year old girl girl is there one year baby please at least protect her that baby is showing the seeing the face of this uh, captain and the, her mother she is thinking what these foolish people are doing all these things and that because she is not knowing what is the seriousness of the situation because mother started crying the baby started crying the captain started crying what to do that he was all in so panicky what to do what to do what to do he is running here and there being giving all instructions do that do that do that while going here and there he saw he was actually there was one indian who got into that boat in the previous uh, stop so he was holding one picture to his uh, chest and he was continuously offering prayers for 10 15 minutes the captain was passing here and there he did not observe that person but again when he went back to the top to the cabin area uh, where uh, from there he was seeing in his binoculars both the animal is coming from one direction and from the other direction the storm is coming then he was suddenly he is uh, going across he saw that person who is very simple very calm very peaceful very serene and he was uh, hugging something to his uh, chest and he was reciting some mantras then he became little inquisitive and he came to that person and he asked no, everybody is in so much panic and tension but you are so comfortable what is that you are hugging to your heart and he saw that photo it has three personalities one is in uh, black color one is in yellow color one is in white color three odd looking circles in that one in black color face there are uh, white color eyes in the white color face there are black color eyes this is something like to the devastating wheel wheel in one side and other side is like a storm so then uh, he started asking who is this person and he said he is the lord jagannath who oh, is he what is his capacity can he protect all of us lord can do all these things all what is there these are all simple things can your lord do something beyond the loss of the material world can he stop the storm which is a material world law can he control the law or can he stop this well and uh, divert us away from this well let us pray let the lord uh, let the lord do whatever he wants to do then he engaged into his prayers then he started uh, sincerely praying all these things and all suddenly he went back to the top to see what is the situation when he saw to his surprise the well started changing its direction 
It was supposed to come and hit the ship. It started changing angle. And suddenly, within few seconds, the whale vanished into the deep water. Nowhere the whale was visible. The big fish was visible. Then he thought, at least one danger has gone. Okay, whale is gone. Now what about the storm? Can your Lord save us from the storm? Suddenly, the uh, sound, lightning and thunder. After the big sound and lightning and thunder, there was heavy wind which drew away the clouds from him. And suddenly, in few minutes, there was clear sky. There is no storm, no significance, nothing at all. Then immediately this person, he announced in his mic, We have been saved by Lord Jagannatha. All of you, please offer your respects to Lord Jagannatha. Like that, everybody offer their salutations like military. Salutations they offer. And when they turn to the direction towards the uh, shore, to offer their directions, they saw Lord Jagannatha's temple chakra. Then he had asked, what is this temple and uh, what is this uh, place? Then he said, it is Lord Jagannatha's temple where he personally stays there in this material world and he is managing this material world by staying there and supporting all the living entities. Then immediately he took the show, boat to the uh, temple, uh, Puri. Then he handed over all the riches, whatever is there in that boat, to the deity. He had asked whether this deity has any storeroom to, cap, uh, to hold uh, the jewels what I am giving. He said, they, were, they, they laughed, that person laughed. You go there, then you will get to know. Then he went to Jagannath temple. Then uh, there was one bell which he was actually taking to one church to be donated in Pondicherry. He gave that bell on his name in Jagannatha. Even today, if you go to the old administrative office, we will see that bell which was donated by this Lord, uh, Lord Beetle. memory of saving his ship in Jagannatha. That is called Garad. Garad is the place in the temple where we can see even today that bell donated by the French uh, people. So, Lord is ready. Only thing is, uh, we are not ready. So, He is waiting for opportunities to bring us towards Him. We are waiting for opportunities to run away from Him. An unfortunate situation. So, in the association of devotees, in the association of the spiritual master, by the guidance of Shastras, we should all develop the taste towards spirituality and very soon we will go back home, back to God. So that assurance is there. Where Lord Krishna is saying, I am here to deliver all of us. So he says in the further sloka, it says, I will. So we will read that further sloka as well.